Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. So I have a friend who is into Filipino movies, and her name is Trish. So she has told me that there is some drama going on in the Philippines today, and that is involving Bo, Biu, I forget, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Gerald, and Julia. Apparently, Gerald and Bo um, have been together for a few years. Then Gerald um, was working with uh, Julia, and Julia broke up with her boyfriend, and now Bo and Gerald are no longer together. So people are wanting to know what is going on with this threesome, this love triangle. Okay, so number one, I get that Julia is young. Now I asked my friend, is she young? Because I get this young vibe and I feel that Julia is impressionable and naive. So Gerald is the one here that I feel that is pulling this pulling like pulling the strings, the ropes, the way he wants people to see it. Um when I think about Gerald and Bo, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Let me just look it up here. Bu, Bu. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce Bo. I'm gonna just call her Bo. Um, Bu. I wonder if she has a full name. Bo Alonzo. Bo. All right, so when I think about Bo and Gerald, I get a vibe of, meh, you know, um, the course, the, 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 the relationship has run its course and he's kind of checked out a long time ago. So he's in the relationship because he really doesn't have really anything else to do but be in the relationship. It's like, you know, when you're in a relationship, it's not really progressing forward. You're just there. It's comfortable. Um, and it's not really changing. So along comes Julia and his ears perk up like, who's this girl? That kind of a thing, right? So um, I feel like he got taken. You know, he got, he's smitten by Julia. All right. So now uh, I feel that, that Gerald has fallen in love with Julia. And I feel that he's kind of told Julia whatever it takes to, 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 to have her, to be with him. Uh, Julia, on the other hand, I feel like is feeling the heat. Um, I feel like she's being blamed for something that she hasn't done. She only knows what she's being told by Gerald. I feel like Gerald is the puppet master here and um, isn't giving Bo the respect that is needed between the two of them, you know, uh, rather than breaking it off properly or whatever the case is and telling Julia what she wants to hear or needs to hear for her to be able to commit to him. She's fall, like he's fallen in love with her. She's fallen in love, love with him due to the things that he has said to her. Um, I just get the vibe that he kind of tricked her, tricked Julia into um, uh, like telling her, oh, don't worry about Bo and I. We're not together anymore. Things are on the rocks. We're kind of in the process of splitting up and kind of, you know, enticed her that way because I feel I feel like Julia wouldn't have um you know um got involved with Gerald if she knew the full story of you know what was going on here so do I feel that um Gerald and Bo are madly in love and we're happily you know living at living happily ever after no I don't get that I just kind of get like it was there you know it was comfortable they were content really that's about it so um i feel that julia is kind of backing off now she's feeling the heat 
she's scared, she's worried. I feel like she's being like she thinks she's like being blamed for the breakup of this relationship. Um, the only part she has is, I believe it's like believing what Gerald is telling her. Um, I don't really feel like there was a whole lot of love there between Julia, between Gerald and Bo. So, and that doesn't make it right. But I feel that was kind of like, it was just, it was just there. That's all it was, you know? Um, and uh, so anyway, so I don't feel that Julia got involved with um, Gerald knowing that he was still with her, with Bo. All right, so... I feel that, um, uh, like, it's too much for Julia. She can't take the stress and of what is going on here. So she's kind of withdrawn and backed up from this whole situation. Um, I do feel that, I do feel they love each other. That she has fallen in love with Gerald and Gerald has fallen in love with her. You know, apparently she's ended it with her boyfriend um, and he's ended it with Bo, but still, I feel that this is really bothering Julia. It's like she was deceived a little bit by Gerald, I feel. He's older, right? He's a lot older than her. She's impressionable. She believes, you know, it's like having, you know, it's like telling, you know, she, she believed him. She trusted him. Okay, let's see what the cards say regarding these two. All right, what are the messages regarding Julia and Bo? Sorry, Bo and um, Bo and uh, Gerald. What are the messages regarding Bo and Gerald? What are the messages regarding Bo and Gerald? What are the messages regarding Bo and Gerald? Okay, so what are the messages regarding Bo and Gerald? We have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is abandonment, withdrawal, it's retreat, it's moving on. So what are the mess what are the energies here? So Bo is moving on or Gerald, both of them together. They're moving on. They've turned their back against the situation and moving on. Ten of Swords. Complete and painful endings, hitting rock bottom. All right. This is the this is an end to the situation. And here we have the tower. The tower represents unwanted change. It's ruin, disgrace, it's upheaval. It's going from uh, birth, death. Um, marriage, divorce, moving, losing a job. It's a major event in somebody's life. Okay, so this is Gerald and Bo. Okay, Gerald and Bo. Let's see what the messages are regarding Julia and Gerald. What are the messages, what are the energies between Julia and Gerald? What are the energies between Julia and and Gerald. What are the messages regarding Julia and Gerald? What are the messages regarding Julia and Gerald? This is not Julia's fault. He was a bit of a coward and couldn't really couldn't end it with her in time. Julia and Gerald. the messages regarding Julia and Gerald. It's like Julia doesn't know where to turn. I feel like she's kind of on her own and trying to figure this out. She's withdrawn some because it's, it's just too much heat. There's too much drama. She can't take it. Julia and Gerald. What are the messages regarding Julia and Gerald? What are the messages regarding Julia and Gerald? 
Fitzgerald. I'm waiting for one card to fall out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. When more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. What are the messages regarding Julia and Gerald? Okay, so what are the messages regarding Julia and Gerald? There is the Knight of Cups. This card talks about a Prince Charming romantic love proposal marriage he wants to offer to Julia. This is the Pisces Cancer or Scorpio male. And he is a Pisces. Okay. He's following his heart. They're very, very sensitive people. Knight of Swords. Here's the Knight of Swords. And this is a change in lifestyle. This is someone like rushing in, getting what he wants. And he wants Julia. Okay. And here we have the Six of Wands. There will be victory here between the two of them. Um, this is coming back from a battle. He's kind of going through a battle right now. And there's going to be victory victory here between the two of them. I do believe they let that that they love each other. They really like each other. They're smitten. They're in love. Um, but Julia is backing off right now. Okay, I'm going to take out my pendulum. And I'm going to ask the pendulum some questions. Yes is back and forth. Uh, round and round is no. All right. So... Are Julia and Gerald, in, have they fallen in love? This says yes. Did Gerald cheat on Bo? Alright, this says no. Did Julia think that Gerald and Bo were split. She, she thought they were split up. Okay. All right. Do Julia and Gerald have a future together? This says yes. Okay. Let's see what the next three months bring for Gerald and Julia. What are the next what are the messages for, for the next three months for Gerald and Julia? What are the messages next three months for Gerald and Julia? What are the messages next three months for Gerald and Julia? What are the messages for Gerald and Julia next three months? What are the messages? For Gerald and Julia, the next three months. What are the messages for Gerald and Julia, the next three months? Gerald and Julia, the next three months. Gerald and Julia, the next three months. Okay, what are the messages? We have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles talks about um, they're going to weigh their options. This is about keeping balance. You can see this person here has got the coins in his hands. It's going to be trying to keep a balance here in their relationship in the next three months. Okay? It's going to be, it's going to be tough. There's the Ten of Wands. It's stress, exhaustion. It's about carrying a burden. But tens are ending of a cycle. So if they'll come to an end of this. And then here's a transition. This is the death card. Nobody, this death card doesn't mean that someone's going to die. This card talks about a transition, a change, going from a cocoon to a butterfly, something flourishing. Um, it is a um, big changes. It's ending of one thing and rebirth and letting go and moving on. It's like a rebirth of a relationship. It's like ending of the way it was and beginning of a new way. Okay. All right, he, you know, Gerald really is, he's, he's taken by Julia. And Julia has only um, behaved the way she has because of the things that Gerald has told her. You know, he, um, uh, so that's what I get. If it, if, so if anybody's interested in a private reading, if you'd like to purchase one, you can email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video.
I'll get back to you within 24 hours and I will have a re reading to you within 48 hours. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching, sharing, subscribing, liking. I really appreciate it. I, you know, I cannot thank everyone enough for um, tuning into my channel and watching my videos. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.